Motorola today presents its new range of Moto G and Moto E smartphones, which will be sold in the range of $100 to $300. While these are not high-end phones, they are all important for Motorola, the Moto G is still the Motorola's best seller, and the company says it is the world's best selling seller in its price class. The Moto E, which sells for a little less, apparently is not far behind. In the Moto G line, Motorola introduces the Moto G6 and G6 Play. There will also be a G6 Plus, but it will not be launched in the US. So we did not have the opportunity to see it. The G6 and the G6 Play are similar looking phones, with curved edges on the back and 18, 9 shows with slim bevels on the front. They feel good, although the standard G6 is closer to a flagship level construction, with a Gorilla Glass back really nice at least until it gets its fingerprints, instead of the polymer crystal in the game. The G6 standard comes with somewhat better specifications, it has a 5.7 inch screen that is somewhere above 1080p, a Snapdragon 450 processor and options for 3GB of RAM and 32GB of storage or 4GB of RAM and 64GB of storage. In addition, it is the only Motorola phone announced today to include USB-C. Like last year, it includes a fingerprint sensor on the front that can detect gestures and completely replace the Android control keys, freeing up even more screen space. It has a really pronounced effect on the 18, 9 screen and it looks great.